Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. Today I have a very special and rare Volkswagen to share with you. This is a 2019 Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon S 4 motion 6 speed manual 1.8 turbo. So, yes, it is an all wheel drive 6 speed manual turbocharged station wagon. And of course, uh, this doesn't look like any other uh, Golf Sport Wagon. This really looks and was modeled after the Golf R Estate, which we never got in the US. So pretty much you could think of this as a Golf R station wagon. Even, uh, even in the interior, it has factory uh, Golf R leather bucket seats. We will get to see those. So I wanna prepare you for this video because this is gonna be probably a, a pretty, <laughs> pretty long one. We're really gonna deep dive into this car. This car had over $12,000 in just parts put into it. That's just replacement part costs uh, with all these tasteful modifications. Never mind, if you were to pay a shop uh, to have uh, all these things uh, modified and installed, you'd be easily uh, over $10,000 in just, in just labor. So really a fantastic value uh, for someone who appreciates this car and knows what it is. Uh, and now speaking of knowing kind of what this car is, uh, who is this car for? Well, really any you know motoring enthusiast, but also for those who are especially uh, into Volkswagens, uh, especially into station wagons, really the holy grail of station wagons, um, if you're into those things, is a all-wheel drive uh, manual turbocharged wagon. And that's what this car is. Barely any of these exist in the US. Uh, if you do a search right now and try to find a Volkswagen, you know, Golf Sport wagon of this Mark 7 generation, um, any six-speed manual with all-wheel drive, uh, maybe two or three will come up in the whole country that are for sale. And this car is really one of a kind. Um, those are usually all completely unmodif unmodified and very, I don't wanna say very high mileage, but, but most of the time they have north of 90 or 100,000 miles because when people have these cars, uh, they don't wanna get rid of them. They really keep them, they drive them all the time. With this only having 57,000 miles on it, uh, for this platform, uh, that's really nothing as this car has been so meticulously maintained as well. The previous owner uh, gave us so much information on this car. They were really so picky <laughs> in a good way um, and meticulous about it and a lifelong uh, Volkswagen enthusiast as well. So they really tastefully modified this in kind of an OEM plus fashion and OEM plus meaning it could have come that way from the factory. So an untrained eye might look at this car and they might think it's just a nice Volkswagen. Um, well, it's really it's really more than that. You, you could never have gotten this car like this from Volkswagen in the US. Uh, this car was tastefully modified using quality parts in this way. And now if I go around to the back, uh, yes, it has a dealer plate on it. We did a road test and just got back from it. Um, so that'll be in the later part of this video. But we can even see it's got the quad exhaust and the rear valance like the Golf R as well. So really the full package here. So with all that being said, now let's roll the intro and dive into this Golf Wagon. First, I'll mention a few of the packages this car has. It has the driver's assistance package, which give, gives you some safety items, some things like blind spot monitoring and like a, a pedestrian alert. Um, actually has autonomous braking as well. And of course, that's all configurable if you wanna turn that off or adjust the sensitivity. It has the rubber mat kit, which are the VW Monster mats. Uh, those are really nice. They're in the cargo area. We'll take a look at those later. And finally, the VW Care package, which is uh, prepaid scheduled maintenance for the first two services, so the 10 and 20,000 mile service. So the original owner really wanted to ensure that the vehicle had uh, dealer servicing. And that now moves me on to the next topic, which is the owner history. Uh, original owner, of course, bought the car new. And at around 25,000 miles, uh, they traded it in at a very nice local uh, Lexus dealer, uh, I'm guessing on uh, a new Lexus. And then the previous owner bought it from that dealer. Previous owner had been on the hunt for almost a year for uh, this uh, specced out car um, for the uh, 1.8 turbo six speed all wheel drive wagon because um, they are so hard to find. So as soon as he found that listing, he went over there and bought it. And that, like I said, it was around 25,000 miles. Uh, now the car sits at 57,000 miles and the previous owner related just how reliable and well-built this car was. 
now let's get on to the exterior condition. And if you see any kind of dots here and there, it did. we did just get a little sprinkling rain shower, as we can see, a little bit of rain here and there, but we can see that's already beating up on the car because it is fully ceramic coated and it had a paint correction done uh, professionally. So we can see the paint condition is really immaculate, not a single like scratch or swirl anywhere. It's really quite amazing. The car presents as a mirror. So starting at the front, uh, let's go over uh, some of these modifications. So we can see the front bumper, that is not factory. That is, uh, it is a factory bumper, but not to this car. That's a factory uh, Mark 7.5 Golf R bumper. And it is a factory bumper, not a remake. It has VW part numbers and stamping on the back. And of course, it's professionally painted to match the vehicle. And then it has a Golf R style headlights on it. And those have uh, very nice LED daytime running lights, sequential turn signals, and they are a fully sealed LED unit. So the lights, um, very nice lights on this, very bright, and of course, uh, work flawlessly uh, with the auto light system as well. And we can see in the front grill, uh, the VW badge has been wrapped black, and then the, the kind of inside of it has been uh, color matched to the vehicle. So it yields a very just clean, uh, aesthetic to the car it looks pretty awesome in my opinion checking out the windshield here the roof condition those are uh, Yakima wisp bars I believe they're called uh, those are discontinued I believe they're very hard to find you can see how low the roof rack sits to the vehicle so it doesn't actually affect gas mileage doesn't make any noise um, and then of course you can slide your attachments in uh, when you'd like to take, take a bike on the roof or something of that nature, or put a roof box on. Uh, and the key to those are inside as well. Uh, the vehicle is tinted, window tinted. Uh, that is removable if you decide to remove it, but of course it's, it's easier to remove than to install. So if you prefer a tinted vehicle, I uh, prefer the heat rejection and the privacy, um, then that's a, you know, a very, uh, usually pretty expensive thing to have done, especially depending on the level of tint. And then we'll notice on the tint, there's a couple little areas like right here. There's a little bit of contamination like on the edges. Um, so we do just want to point that out as we are full, uh, full disclosure here. So the wheels and tires, uh, very nice wheels on this car. So these are a new speed RSC 10s in an 18 by eight size, 45 offset. And they have Michelin uh, Pilot uh, Sport 4S's on them in a 235. 4018. These wheels are ceramic coated as well. And this vehicle is sitting on aftermarket suspension. Uh, so those are Coney Yellow Shocks and Eibach Sport Springs. So we can see it, it sits at pretty much like a factory Golf R uh, height. Not anything crazy low, um, you know, where you're going to be crashing into speed bumps and stuff. Car rides, uh, rides so nice. We do uh, a road test a little bit later in this video, so stay tuned for that. And actually, uh, I take Dimitri out with me and he gives his, his comments on it as well. So on these wheels, there's really not, there's not one bit of curbing or really damage on them. Um, those are the factory brake calipers. They've been painted in a yellow enamel to give uh, kind of a contrast. I think it looks awesome. Uh, kind of, you see a lot of Porsche calipers uh, having that kind of yellow paint. So I think that looks great. And especially with the blue a silk blue metallic color on the car, which is a very rare color on this car. Uh, this color was more common on like, I think the Tiguan's and a couple of the other Volkswagen models. It was actually uh, very, very rare to get it on a Golf. Um, so that's another uh, kind of aspect of this car as well. It does have a bigger rear sway bar, which we will take a look at the underbody um, later at the end of this video. Um, so it does have a bigger rear sway bar, gives you some better turn in, less body roll. Um, car, a car rides really amazing, handles very well. It has a WeatherTech rain guards on it. Those block some sun glare and help with uh, being able to crack the windows in the rain, of course. And now moving to the back of the vehicle. Looks really clean. You can see the paint is immaculate once again factory Golf R exhaust tips, which have been welded onto the factory exhaust. And then the uh, valance, which is the gloss black trim piece around those, 
Uh, that was actually imported from Germany. That's the factory part that goes on a Golf R wagon as these cars share rear bumpers. The badge has been uh, wrapped gloss black and then the innards are color matched to match the front. And then the these window side spoilers, uh, these aren't factory, those are uh, from a Golf R as well, which really adds a very, very nice, nice look to it. So now if I open up the back, we can check out the cargo area. Very, very nice. Uh, in here, we have the full uh, spare tire kit. And I did, I did look through there and uh, everything is there. It's got the nice tonneau cover, full mats. And we can see the condition of everything, the plastic, the top of the bumper. There's no, apart from one little spider there, there's no like scuffing or, or damage to it. And same thing, these mats, if I get a better camera angle for you here, the mats are in near, or pretty, per, pretty much perfect condition. And then of course the uh, monster mat, big monster mat that covers everything, including the rear seats as well. And then if we look in the cargo area, there's the spare tire. And then under that is the Helix uh, sound box. So that was imported uh, those are brought over from Germany as well. It's a German option that these cars will get. So that's a, a sound processor and amplifier that ties in with the factory sound system. So you've actually got a subwoofer under there now without compromising any cargo space. Um, and it operates the you know door speakers. This car really, it sounds really good, especially in the uh, cabin space that the wagon gives you. And just taking a look at all the door jams quick, we can see they're really like a new vehicle condition. They're as they're as glossy as the rest of the vehicle. And now that I shot this, I will mention this car has the rear wiper delete. Uh, that that can honestly be kind of a controversial thing people talk about. Um, but for the people who are really into these cars, uh, they love doing those. It gives it such a uh, really clean look at the back. And of course, this car has uh, most stock parts that go along with the sale that the previous owner gave to us. Um, so the original wiper uh, is is included that can easily be put back, you know, if you wanted to do that later, because you'll get the wiper with the car. Um, but what's nice about this delete, especially with the car being ceramic coated, in the wintertime, the snow and stuff just slides off. It doesn't build up on the wiper or anything. So really kind of a cool modification there. And before I get into the rest of the interior, there are a few things I'll mention. Um, the car does have an all track uh, skid plate on it with the front supports. So these cars actually have a uh, plastic oil pan from the factory and they really don't have much of any underbody protection. So the previous owner installed the uh, all track skid plate, which goes under the full, pretty much the full front of the car from the front bumper back to behind the front subframe. Um, so that adds a bunch of insurance to, if debris came up in the road, you don't have to worry about uh, piercing that oil pan or anything. So, and I, and I bring that up because that generally happens even on the GTIs and stuff, they, they all this modern generation Volkswagen, they all share that plastic pan. Um, and actually for the Mark 8, the next generation, they went back to a metal pan because of things come, coming up in the road and it hits the pan. So now that won't happen on this car uh, because like I said, the, the due diligence of uh, the, previous, the previous owner there. So now if we get into the interior, Check out the door card condition. Once again, all the condition of the, the jams of the vehicle, it's all as, like, have you seen door jams as glossy as the exterior of the car? I think these door jams are glossier than most uh, exteriors of most cars on the road now, um, if you ask me. So now we can see the gorgeous factory Golf R seats that have been put in this car, and the stitching is light on them. Uh, so the stitching actually matches the tan accents um, of the vehicle. We've had multiple people ask if it's like a special edition um, because usually the two-tone interiors are what you get on the higher end or special package cars. And that's really what this emulates. So bring down the middle uh, armrest here, adjustable cup holder, really cool. Um, of course, as I said, uh, these seats are really the nicest seats Volkswagen offers for, uh, for a Golf. These are from, like I said, the Golf R, the top model. Um, I believe these seats are fully uh, made in Germany, uh, along with the rest of the, the Golf R made in Wolfsburg. So um, that's just a nice touch. These are so comfortable and the material, literally all these seats are perfect. Uh, previous owner 
uh, you know, obviously give us tons of information. And these were pulled out of a low mileage Golf R um, that wasn't wasn't d damaged or crashed or anything. The owner was just selling them off because he was converting it into a track car, like a race car. So if we check out the carpet condition, all the kick panels, really doesn't look like anyone ever rode back here, if you ask me. Now let's look at this door's condition. Once again, everything is just very, very nice. All the seat condition. And I will mention too, all of the uh, glass on this car, it is VIN etched. So that's something they did from the factory. You see it's right there, even the rear. So it's all, it's all, all the side glass you can see in the rear glass is all factory glass as it has the uh, VIN etching there. And then on the mirror, we can see the blind spot monitoring symbol there. And once again, just checking out the condition of the vehicle, it's literally, literally crazy. It's like new. So of course this car does have uh, 57,000 miles, but they were gently used miles and in the hands of, of course, uh, you know, an enthusiast who cared about the car. So even like these bolsters usually get all wrinkly or like cracked because people don't get in and out of the car, um, you know, in a proper manner. So they crush these. And once again, even looking over the, to the driver's one, we can see the opposing driver bolster that is really gets the worst of them all. Um, and it's literally in perfect condition. So really quite amazing. Looking in the driver's footwell, or sorry, passenger footwell, there's the glove box. Of course, there's the factory uh, owner's manual in the uh, factory sleeve there. Cup holders, everything. We can see all like the switch gear and stuff. It's all in really nice shape, not scratched up or anything. Even the condition of the armrest is really nice. If we open this up, there is a key in here for the uh, roof rack. Once again, all very nice. This is adjustable too. It goes forward um, and you can put it up and have it at different uh, different heights even while it's forward. So now let me get in the driver's seat and I'll tell you about, I'll tell you about the rest of the car because there is quite, quite a bit more. So now if we look at the condition of everything on the driver's side, you can see factory stickers here. Even these stickers were uh, ceramic coated with the rest of the door jams. And then if we get in, we can see down here, uh, factory aluminum pedals. So we can see the covers on the pedals are aluminum and rubber. These are out of a Golf R or like an all track, a higher, technically a higher model. Uh, but these cars had just basic rubber caps from the factory. So that's a really nice touch. And now, if I grab the key, let's start it up. I'll show you it starts very nice. Factory gauge sweep there. And these cards give you so much nice information from the factory. We can see it says oil temperature there. I can flick through and there's tons of information. Economy, average economy, your range, uh, different times for your trips, average speed, current miles per hour, all different awesome things. And we can see only 57,000 400 miles. So this vehicle, you really have to see it in person to like really appreciate it. It'll it'll be like getting like in a new vehicle. It's kind of nuts that this car was taken care of um, so well. And I mean, the previous owner, he was a lifelong Volkswagen enthusiast, also a professional auto detailer. Um, so this vehicle was really just always, you know, detailed in a proper manner um, and taken care of. We can even see how clear the gauges are. It's almost like there's no plastic on them, there's no uh, covering because they're perfectly clear. Normally that plastic uh, gauge material uh, or plastic lens on the gauge is what I was looking for. Those get all marred up and scratched up because they're cleaned improperly because it's a very soft material. I mean, these are just, like I said, these are just perfect. I can let the camera focus in and it's like nothing even there. Even looking at all the uh, armrest areas, there's no like discoloration, and especially with the tan color, you would immediately see discoloration or damage if there was any. And this car does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which you plug in right there, and everything works smooth and perfectly. The heated seats uh, work great on the vehicle. 
these seats are actually notorious for getting for getting very hot. We can see BFI golf ball shift knob. Uh, if you're an enthusiast, you know probably who uh, BFI is, what their company is. There we go. I'll get it to focus for you with the sun glare. So these uh, these are actually handmade. Uh, this is this is real leather. This upper portion. Um, and it was matched in the same blue as the vehicle. So these actually take a few weeks to get when you order one, because like I said, these are literally handmade. And then the previous owner also uh, installed this plaid, a uh, gray plaid uh, shift boot, which then matches the gray plaid inlay on the Volkswagen uh, symbol there. So I believe this plaid is called GTD plaid, which is from the performance diesel models Volkswagen offers in Europe. I believe those have kind of a gray plaid um, if I'm not mistaken there. It does have a nicely integrated uh, turbo gauge. We can see there it's in just the white lighting which will match the vehicle when the lights are on, which I just put on for us there. And we can see it's reading vacuum very nicely there. And this vehicle is on the factory tune. Uh, of course, you can read the boost gauge for yourself with, with the PSI um, it pushes. So that's really left up to you, the next owner, if you want to just enjoy the factory tune or if you want to take it a step further and tune it up, do a different turbo, et cetera. Um, lots of information out there online of how good this platform is with that sort of thing. But this one is on factory tune. Um, so really, as far as that goes, it's a, it's a blank slate. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, modifications to the engine and stuff like that. This only has, um, we will look under the engine bay in a second. It just has uh, like an intake and, and those sort of things that aren't, uh, you know, messing with the the fueling or the output um, of the engine, which a lot of people prefer to not have that done at all or do it themselves. And looking at the headliner, really in perfect shape. Sunglass holder there. Pulling this down. You can see myself there with that. <laughs> when that turns on, everything is in really glorious condition. And like I said, check out our listing online. Uh, you can see all of the modifications this car has, as well as the you know detailed owner and even service history. So let me pop the hood for you now. We can hear it idling very smoothly. One-handed operation as it has a pneumatic strut. And the inside of the engine bay presents just as nicely as the rest of the vehicle. Even check out how glossy the inside of the hood is. That is impressive. You could literally do your hair or check out the engine bay from inside of the hood. So we can see all the factory uh, stickers and everything on the core support there on the intake. So really just amazing immaculate condition. Of course, we can see the intake here, nice blue color match filter to the car as well. A very well-known brand, APR, one of the biggest companies um, in the Volkswagen industry, have been for many years. So quality parts there. Uh, so there's their intake. And then if we look down in there, we can see, uh, what we can't see is the ground, and that's because of the uh, all-track skid plate that's been added to this vehicle. And of course, very meticulous maintenance on this car. So. Uh, as I said earlier, check out the listing and that will uh, give you all you need to know in that aspect. So now if we shut the hood, this requires a little bump and it clicks right in. And we can see now those nice daytime running lights and the low beams are on as well because the actual lights are on, but really gives the car a nice aesthetic. So now uh, I'm going to grab Dimitri and we're going to take this out for a drive. And then after that, we'll check out the underbody condition. Check this out. Nice cold start. Look at the front air dam, wheels, rear exhaust. So the engine is running nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. The cosmetic condition is impeccable. <laughs> we have a qualified driver. We have three pedals down there and we have six gears to shift and one reverse. Yep. Yeah, and obviously you've just, you've just learned a lot about this car watching the first part of this video. But now we're driving it and you can really see this, this shift knob that the owner selected to install, this is handmade by this company. It takes a few weeks to get these. It's modeled after the uh, original Mark I Golf GTI, what started Volkswagen's you know, popularity making these cars. Wow. 
wow, it's got a nice pull. The car and, pulls small, strong and smooth, and you can tell that it's on the, the factory tune. So it's a really a, a blank canvas. Uh, people tune these up all the time. So it's really a blank canvas if, if you want to go ahead and do that. Um, but it's nice buying a car that is on the factory tune because it, it runs like like factory because not everyone prefers that. But it so, doesn't look like factory. No. It doesn't look like factory. That's well, what I Well, it depends who you ask, though. Because with how, with how cleanly the car is modified, a lot of people think it's just a top-level car from the factory. And I... Th- it really it, takes an eye to realize all the touches that were made. And I know when you asked, they didn't have anything like this. Did they have anything like this in Europe? So in Europe, they have the Golf R Estate or the Golf R Wagon, and we never got that here. That's right. So this was the closest car you could get uh, from from the drivetrain standpoint with the all-wheel drive, six-speed manual, and the 1.8 turbo. In a wagon, it has so much room. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I my wife has a VW Alltrack in a six-speed, which is... It's the same. It's the same car, pretty much, and there's so much room. It's unbelievable. It really is. Yeah. And these cars are are geared very nice for the highway as well. Um, you can cruise at like 70, 80 miles an hour at like 2,000 RPM. Very fuel efficient. Very good gearing. And even though this car has very high performance tires, it is lowered a little bit, um, but it's on high quality. You know, Eibach springs made in Germany. It's on Kony shocks. Um, it, it rides super smooth, but then gives you the feedback you yeah, want. Yeah, very comfortable ride. So, uh, we had a couple of bumps, and since these are the bumps we know very well. Yeah, we're about to go over a bumpy bridge, actually, and, yeah. then, and then we'll turn around. But this is a notoriously bumpy bridge going over the, the local highway. Yeah, I know every bump here. I know how cars behave here. And it's this thing is smooths it all out. Yeah, and given the how it handles and the steering response, that was very, very impressive. That's what happens when you select, you know, high quality parts. A lot of these manufacturers make parts for the manufacturer who, who build the vehicles. So when you use quality parts, you get a quality, quality ride. Yeah, we know the owner of this car was very, very picky. Yeah. And uh, very careful, thorough. Uh, research and selection with impeccable match to the vehicle and I like how this boost gauge is set up and it still blows warm air around it yep. yeah so that's this is 3d printed custom to match and yeah it's still a functional yeah a functional vent so that is really nice and again more bumps and it impresses us even more and let's, we can try out the turning circle right here. Of course, fully coast is clear, no cars. We will have to do a three-point turn. It was very close. But it's, it was very close, yeah. and this is a very thin... Yeah, and I'm being cautious, because this car has very nice, expensive alloys on it. Yes. So. Yeah. This has the high-performance Michelin tires on it. Um, but once you really get into the winter months, you know, of course, we, we recommend using the snow tires that this car comes with. So then you're not going to have any salt damage on the alloys, and you're going to get the winter, the winter grip you need. I would, these cars are very capable with the all-wheel drive, with the snow tires. It's it's unbelievable. You'll drive past pickup trucks going up hills, and it astounds people how good these are in the snow. Yeah, and I would call this car as the ultimate enthusiast package. You start off. Well, the problem with us who are car enthusiasts. We don't have time. We have great ideas. We just don't have time to implement them. And uh, if we do, it's uh, it's a work of love and it takes a long time. Mm. And by the time you're usually done with, with that project, you have another project in mind. So this car, the reason I'd call it an ultimate enthusiast package, you start off with the best car an enthusiast can find. Mm. Certainly in a VW wagon here in U.S. And yeah, then, for, for any wagon enthusiast. For any wagon, yeah. yes. How many wagons can you buy in the U.S. with the stick shift? I don't believe any anymore. If you're talking brand new, I don't believe any. Uh, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. I don't, I'd love yes. to hear about one. But. I, I, I don't think so. And even in the past, those that were sold, were just they were minimal quantities. 
Wow. Yeah. Super smooth. Yeah. Clutch works great. Super direct. Great throttle response. Yes. And you get the fun turbo noises. Yeah, like a little wastegate performance, like. Yep. <laughs> yeah, these cars recirculate the pressure, but with the intake this car has, you can hear that. So yes. it's, it doesn't affect how, the, how it runs, doesn't affect the, the factory tuning or anything. Yeah, so. I love this trim. That was factory, right? Yeah, that trim's factory. This, how comfortable are the seats? How do you like the seats? I love the seats. I miss those kinds of seats. You find them nowadays in Ferraris, the, the deep sport seats. Yeah. Everybody is kind of doing away with pronounced bolsters on mm. the seat bottom. And even on the seat back, these seats are absolutely awesome. They're comfortable too. They're not too uh, firm. They're firm enough, but they're, they're still very comfortable. Because these are factory seats out of a Golf R. So you went from this vehicle having the base cloth seats to having the best seats Volkswagen offers, best, best leather seats Volkswagen offers out of the Golf R. And all, the interior of this car is literally close to new vehicle condition. It, it, uh, I cannot see where, the, I know you did a comprehensive um, overview in the prior footage, but was there anything that was less than perfect on the interior? Uh, I don't. I don't believe. Don't believe so. Yeah, I cannot see anything. Even the typical uh, wear spots, like little wear marks on the steering wheel, they're not present there. Yeah, we can tell it was all regularly detailed, and especially the gauge cluster. There's no, there's no marring or swirls from being improperly cleaned in the soft plastic. That's all. That's all crystal clear. The brakes are nice and smooth too. Mm -hmm. I notice we brake at the kind yeah, of high go of the speed. wheel. Yeah. And So we arrived at Alpha Cars. Our main showroom is on the right. Our main building is on the left. It has the delivery area, service department, reconditioning bays, high-end balancing equipment, road force. And new rock walls. And yes, we just finished this. We still have a little bit of work to do. We're very proud of our rock walls here in New England, especially those ones that you put together yourself. So Dimitri, what are your impressions after having ridden in this car for the first time? I am absolutely speechless. I, I cannot believe that for, I, and I know this car has a certain, a, almost exotic level of uh, uh, value added, tasteful improvements, but even still with everything, it is so affordable and you get an exotic car and a functional one and a practical one because you have all this room you can put stuff in. And now I've got the sport wagon up in the air so we can take a quick walk through the underbody as it is, uh, it is pretty clean. We can see there's a Bentley Continental GT right there plus some other uh, very fine European vehicles in our Boxboro showroom. So first I'll point out we can see the all track skid plate, very hefty uh, reinforced composite. Um, so like I said, this will do an awesome job of protecting the vehicle and even looking at the underside of the bumper not a single like scuff or scratch really um, so really a lot of care was taken in uh, in driving this vehicle and now if I get down we can take a quick pass through the underbody you can see the subframes and control arms and everything are are very clean especially for a vehicle that's been used uh, in New England so I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you're as excited about this uh, sport wagon as we are. If you have any additional questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to reply. So this has been Ian uh, and Dimitri reporting from our Boxboro showroom. This vehicle is available uh, as of today's video uh, posting date. So check out the listing, you'll be able to see pricing. And like I said, really all the uh, nitty gritty, even more so than we've already discussed on this Volkswagen. So please like this video and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest motoring content.